When running a mini protein gel with a BioRad power supply, you may experience an E1 no load detected error message. This error message usually means that there's a break in the circuit somewhere, or that the current has dropped below the lower limit of the power supply. There are several possible causes for an E1 error, but they're all easy to remedy. For example, first, if using ready gels, make sure the tape has been removed from the bottom of the gel. Also, it may be difficult to see the comb once you've assembled the gel sandwich. You should always remove the comb before you run the gel. Next, it is very important that the short place face inward towards the upper buffer chamber in order to complete the circuit. Another common problem is an insufficient amount of buffer. We recommend the upper or inner buffer be filled all the way to the top, and the lower buffer be filled to two to three centimeters above the bottom of the short or the inner glass plate gel. If the buffer level is below the plate gel, the circuit will not be complete. Very often an E1 error is caused by using a running buffer that is too dilute. Make sure that you are using the correct running buffer for the gel used. If the running buffer is self-made, check the composition and how it is made. If the running buffer is pre-made, either by BioRad or another company, make sure it is diluted correctly. An E1 error can also occur when the application current is below the lower current limit of the power supply. Some applications, for example an IEF Ready Gel, typically have very low current during the run. In this case, you want to use a power pack with a lower current limit such as the Power Pack Basic or turn off the no load detection if necessary. Occasionally, the problem is due to a defective power supply. Try running the gel using another power supply to see if the error persists. Or the problem could be with your gel box. Run the same gel in a different gel box but with the same power supply to see if the E1 error persists. The problem could be due to corroded leads, frayed wires, or broken platinum wires. The problem may also be as simple as a poor connection. Check to see if the male leads of the gel box are completely seated in the female terminals of the power pack. If you are using a non biorad gel box, you may need an adapter. We hope this video solves your issue. If you have further questions about using any of your BioRad products, please watch our other Bench Partner videos or email us at support at bio-rad.com and we'll do our best to get you working again.